the one thing I, I believe with the pick at six is that we want to we want to get a player who has the opportunity to come in here right now and compete for a job. Well, the big thing is we we just we need to get bigger. You know, I um, I, I don't know if I talked to uh, to all of you about it at the end of the season, but in doing, we had a series of three different season ticket holder town hall meetings, and I I talked about a, a game late in the season against San Jose where the. The, the line that they had out, it was uh, a six footer, a six foot five guy, and a six foot five guy. Our line was five eight, six feet, and five ten on the road. And, and every time that line of ours went out, they put that other line out. It makes for a long night for your guys. And, you know, we recognize that playing in the West, and, and particularly now next year, playing in a new division and the size of the center iceman there, you know, that's, we have to get bigger and we have to get harder to play against. And when, uh, when you finish where we have the, the last three, four years, uh, you know, our list of untouchable players is relatively small. I don't think there's a quick fix. I mean, we, you know, we believe that it was a matter of adding a player or two here or there. The, the fact of the matter is that we have to do a better job as an organization in drafting. Uh, we think that over the last three years or so, three drafts or so, that we've, we've done a better job. But it's not, again, not enough players that are pushing through right now. We have to do a better job developing players. We have to make sure that once we draft them, we do the right thing to develop them. And, and again, we have to continue to add assets. We, you know, we can't keep trading away high draft picks and, and trying for that uh, you know, solution that gets us through and gets us into the playoffs at the expense of the, you know, the foundation.